There are quite often occasions when you're marking up your drawing where you need to hide objects that you don't want to plot, but you don't want to delete the viewport or delete the object on the drawing. So what you can do is you can use a tool called Wipeout. Now we've got a drawing open, 06 Wipeouts complete. You want 06 Wipeouts.dwg. You'll find that in your working files. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this particular viewport here the side view like that. Now what I want to do is I want to hide the viewport and the text that explains what that viewport is, the side view scale one to two text. Now to use wipeouts, it's very easy. They're in your home tab on the draw panel. Click on the flyout on the draw panel. I would actually pin it open by clicking on the pin and wipeout is right there. So I click on wipeout and come into the drawing area and it asks for the first point. Now have a look at your command line. You've got a choice of frames or polyline. So if I did a right click there and selected polyline, it says select a closed polyline. So what I could do is quite literally just draw a polyline and convert it to a wipeout if I wanted to. I'll just hit escape there now and go back to the wipeout command. Now the other option is I can specify where I want the wipeout to actually go. So I can utilize my drawing tools things like object snaps. So if I come here like that, I want to get right in there, but I don't want to get that top view text. So I just want to make sure I'm just about there. And then I draw a frame around the object. Can you see that? So I'm clicking. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because the whole idea is that you're just covering it up. So if I zoom out a bit and pan, come to there, just drag it around, just gently making sure I'm not snapping to things I don't want to snap to like that. So there's my wipeout there. So I press enter to confirm and that wipes it out. And there's the frame around my wipeout there. And it tells me it's a wipeout object. So that's one way of doing it, just by drawing around the object. Now what I'm going to do there is I'm actually going to undo that and go back to that view there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit tighter and pan like so. What I'm going to do this time is draw a polyline. So if I draw a polyline, I'll do this on layer zero rather than an object layer. So let's change our layer to zero there and I'll do a rectangle and then I can place my rectangle in the drawing making sure that I don't snap to any corners or anything so I want it about there that'll do and then I just drag that rectangle over the object I want to hide with the wipeout so there's my rectangle there now I go back to the wipeout command now because I've clicked on a different command it's unpinned that so I need to go to wipeout again there come into the drawing area right click polyline I click on the polyline this time erase polyline I don't tend to I tend to leave it there it does leave two objects on the drawing it's up to you if I say yes I've still got a wipeout there but there's no polyline underneath sometimes the best thing to do is to leave the polyline there and put it on a layer that you can freeze on the drawing and call that layer wipeouts for example and then always you just freeze that before you plot the drawing but the wipeout is there if I delete the wipeout, I get the objects back again when I want them displayed on the drawing. So wipeouts are a really neat, useful markup tool when you're working in AutoCAD, again, making you work smarter and faster.